Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jody Middendorf and I spend a lot of time outside. Today I'm sharing five ways that I prepare for bad weather while camping. Specifically camping in the boundary waters, but this is relevant anywhere you may be camping, especially with a canoe. Mother Nature can be fierce and there are ways that we can take steps to prevent uh, negative experiences from happening. I don't want this video to scare anybody. I want this to be a video where you look at this and you say, yes, these are five easy things that I can do before every camping trip to make sure that myself and my camping group are being smart about being in the wilderness. The first thing that I always do when I'm canoe camping is I bring a life jacket and I wear that life jacket. Wearing your life jacket is the only way that your life jacket can save you from drowning. I have heard countless stories of people drowning in the boundary waters and they aren't wearing their life jackets. You never know when you're paddling across a lake and a storm can come out of nowhere and it comes really fast. By the time it's there you have to paddle hard to keep up with the waves that are like pushing you potentially in the wrong direction or trying to turn your canoe sideways. At that point it'd be really hard to actually grab your life jacket and put it on. You want to have it on ahead of time. You just never know when you're in the wilderness. I take life jackets very seriously because uh, they're lifesavers. The second thing I do to protect uh, myself from bad weather in the boundary waters or while camping is to avoid putting my tent by trees that look dead. Right now these trees look dead, that's because it's that time of year. If the trees look like this in the summertime, don't put your tent next to them. If a tree looks like it's starting to lean over, don't put your tent by it. If there's a dead tree, don't put your tent by it. If possible, keep your tent away from any large trees. Um, what I do too, if it's impossible at the campsite to have my tent far away from trees that look like they could be a potential danger is when there's a storm or a large wind storm even just coming through um, I will be outside of my tent being alert looking around and checking out the trees because if you're outside of the tent you're much more likely to see the trees um, and what's going on with them and be able to protect yourself that way. The third thing I do to protect myself um, in case of bad weather is to tell my family and friends where I'm going when I'm entering the boundary waters and especially when I'm exiting the boundary waters. I tell them if I don't call you by this time on this day please reach out to me to make sure I'm okay. If I'm not okay this is the outfitter that I used for my gear. They should probably know where I am and they'll know the conditions and whether there was a storm or something like that. They also might know if I checked through outfitting to drop off my canoe and maybe I said I lost my phone or something like that. I always let my family know please check up with me, um, be accountable to my whereabouts on this day at this time please. If you have already told your family or friends what your trip plan is, which is a good idea, tell them where you're going in, where you plan on wanting to camp, where your trip's going to take you, what lakes you're going to go through. Once you've told your family and friends that, try to stick to that plan so that if something were to happen, they would have a much better idea of where to find you and where to look. The fourth thing I do to protect myself in case of bad weather is to know the forecast ahead of time. The forecast is always changing, it's not always accurate, but it's better to know if there is any chance of storm on the radar around your trip. If you're specifically concerned about storms or um, have young children who you don't think would do that well in cold, wet, rainy weather, maybe you know you plan your trip for a different weekend. Put your permit up for somebody else to use and know that ahead of time before you enter the boundary waters or at least you can know if there's something coming through um, what days you should be on the lookout when you bring your weather satellite radio device if you bring one you'll know what days you specifically should be listening and paying attention to the forecast knowing the weather forecast ahead of time helps you know what the appropriate weather attire will be for your trip if it's gonna be rainy bring a rain suit I always bring my rain suit because I, it's worth bringing in my opinion all the time. If you're going to want to bring really warm clothes, I usually bring a hat and light mittens no matter what, but you can have a better idea of what your clothing should look like if you've looked at the forecast ahead of time with some sliver of confidence, maybe. <laughs> the fifth thing I do to protect myself in case of bad weather is I always bring my canoe all the way out of the water. Oftentimes when I'm canoeing in the boundary waters, when you go by other campsites, you can kind of see what they're up to and I don't try to stare at other people's campsites, but oftentimes canoes are like half in the water, half out of the water, so that if they plan on going fishing or going for a day trip or leaving soon, then you know the canoe is already at the water's edge. I always try to, especially at night or if there's bad weather or if it's just windy, take that canoe all the way up out of the water. It's worth it. You're not going to have a runaway canoe and be stranded at your campsite. I've also heard of people putting their food in their canoe and putting that in the water and tying the canoe to a tree. 
you're very likely to have a bear in your canoe and destroying your canoe that way. Um, don't recommend that. <laughs> For bad weather purposes and for general camping purposes, I like to take my canoe out of the water completely um, and sometimes even secure it to a tree when it's out of the water so it's not moving around too much and destroying it, especially if you have a fragile canoe. So these are just five things that I do to protect myself in case of bad weather. If you have more ideas or more uh, safety tips, please comment those below. We can all kind of learn from each other here. Give this video a like if it helped you out in any way and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and camping and stuff like that. I genuinely appreciate it. Happy camping! <laughs>